Good morning, everyone. Always a smaller crowd on the second day. It's a mystery I'll solve one day. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick um, welcome and good morning for folks that were here yesterday. Welcome back for those that are here today for the first time. Welcome. As the, to the California Aquatic Bioassessment Workgroup meeting and the California Society for Freshwater Science meeting. My name is Shuka Rastagarpur. I'm an environmental scientist at State Water Resources Control Board. Uh, just a quick reminder um, for folks that are in the room, um, we have mics in the ceilings, so try to keep your conversations to a minimum. They will be captured and people online will hear everything that you're saying. So. Um, for folks that are online, um, there is a chat feature at the bottom of your screen. So after each presenter, you're very um, welcome to ask any questions to our presenters and we will read them out loud to the room so that the presenter can answer your questions. And that's with my short introduction. I'm going to hand it over to Angela. Oh, sorry. Um, just wanted to quickly thank our sponsors um, for today as well. Um, and yeah. Um, so California Society of Freshwater Science, my name is Angela Pomadow, I'm the current chair president. Our treasurer, John Olson, is over there. Thank you, John. Um, so we really want to thank the partners for putting on this meeting. This is, um, you know, since our 11th year here of doing the meeting with CABW really indebted to the work they do and being able to put together these meetings. We would not be able to um, put together our own annual meeting. So we really appreciate it being able to partner. Um, and then we had student presentations yesterday during the lightning round. Thank you students. You guys did a great, nope, great job. Um, and thank you to the judges. So let's give a round of applause to the students and the judges. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, and just really appreciate the support for being able to have student um, uh, opportunities at CABW along with CalSFS. So the students, um, we did have some, um, we have a student competition. So we did have some prizes. So before I announce those, I just wanted to let you guys know that if the students want individual feedback, you can email me. So either write down my email. If you forget it or you write it down wrong, you get a rejection, you can contact Shuka too and she can... Um, put it, uh, send it to you or connect us so you guys can get any personalized feedback um, based on the responses. You guys, I'll take your photos, screenshots at home. Okay. So here is the lightning session uh, results for graduate students. So our, our number one spot was Garrett Keating with DNA barcoding of aquatic invertebrates gap analysis. Congratulations, Garrett. Uh, oops. Um, Jasmine, you were the only one on there and I know you had a partner that was co-hosting. So you guys both got it, um, for second place. So it's $50. And then, thank you. <laughs> what was it? Brent Kastanoff. Brent Kastanoff. Thank you. Both of you guys. Um, Jonathan Juarez, uh, with Terrestrial Aquatic Connections. And that was $25. So congratulations students for graduate students. Yay. So you need to contact John Olson, our treasurer. He is the money bags for this. So he will issue you a check. Uh, for our undergraduate students, which we had a whole bunch of undergraduate students. So it was uh, great to have that um, part of the student lightning talks. So number one, um, our first place is Ashley Rollins with comparison of shell length uh, for C. betelariae infected and non-infected B. atramentaria within Elkhorn Slough in Japan. So the $100 prize. Who knew snails could be so interesting? Thank you. Um, and the second place was Connor Queers with California red-legged frog, our Draytonii habitat, defining predicting their current future ranges. And then Lexi Yokomizo is third place in the analysis for fire retardant and runoff. So congratulations, undergrads. Good jobs. Spectacular, all the students. You guys really brought it. It was a great session. Thank you so much. Um, and again, really indebted to the judges for being able to uh, make that happen. Um, and we are always accepting members into Cal SFS. So join today if you aren't already. And if you joined like five years ago and you haven't renewed, you still have to rejoin every year. Um, and 
this is really great because we can provide student early career resources opportunities. Um, we also have a lot of networking professional growth opportunities, particularly we can help facilitate relationships with the parent SFS. Um, so if there's other resources you need, like you want to go to the annual conference in Philadelphia for SFS next year, uh, maybe there's a workshop that's interesting, we can help facilitate and get you guys there, um, especially as early career students, if you need the resources, you can't afford to go, or, um, you know, if you already used your research or travel stipends from your university, we can help get you there. Um, and then also, if there's anything that you want to get out, you're looking for jobs, um, or you are recruiting for people, we have a listserv too that reaches uh, SFS members within California. So it's a great opportunity to join um, Cal SFS. And it's only $10, right, John? I mean, what a steal. Um, okay, so today, field trip workshop, we're going to do a guided tour of Big Canyon Restoration Project at the North Bay Conservancy. Um, so the actual tour, we're going to meet at 1.30. The driving directions are in the um, agenda. And they are kind of tricky. There is an address for this place, but that is not where we're meeting for the tour. You have to drive another five-ish minutes. Um, so if anybody needs a ride, let us know. Um, but other than that, we're going to meet at 1.30. And we have some spots left, Shuga, I think. Five. Five spots. Okay, great. Um, and we are taking donations for that. It's a recommended $20 nation. Um, however, if anything you want to give, um, that'd be great because then this goes directly to support CalSFS students. Um, and if you're wondering how you can just donate, uh, here is um, the Venmo information at CalSFS John Olson, or we also have a PayPal. So, um, you know, you probably got Venmoed last night at the at the mixer. So if you wanted to put that towards students um, support at CalSFS, that'd be great. And I think that is it. So again, thank you Swamp and Squirt for being partners and enjoy day two, you guys.